It's a great day in sports analytics. I'm Victor Holman, sports analytics expert, and welcome to the Sports Analytics 3-Minute Drill, where we break down sports analytics methods and explain how they're being used today in the world of sports. Today we're going to discuss expected possession value, or EPV, and the NBA optical tracking data conduct research conducted by Dan Savone, Alexander Damore, Luke Bourne, and Kurt Goldsberry. So let's begin. Using film or player tracking data, a quantitative analysis representative of the entire possession will occur where each moment in the possession is summarized on the basis of the expected value of the possession at each moment. For each moment of a possession, a value is assigned to each of the individual tactical moves a player can make, allowing analysts to evaluate each decision that a player makes. Under this model, dishing the ball to an open shooter at the key or near the basket is worth more expected points than to a covered player in the corner. Expected possession value is an extremely new avenue of basketball analysis focusing on decision making, opportunity creation, and prevention. Here's another way to look at it. The key moment of an offensive play of a basketball game may not be when the points are scored at the end of the possession. It may have occurred earlier in the possession with a pass or a move to elude a defending player. The points could not have been generated without the offensive strategy that put the ball in the shooter's hand. However, traditional basketball statistics do not take this into account. Stats tend to look at quantifiable data like points, rebounds, and turnovers. These evaluate the skill of the shooter, but fail to take into account the skills of the players whose actions lead up to the shot. And point-wise, an optical tracking framework is built using player tracking data to develop a quantifiable representation of the entire possession as a series of summaries for each moment of the possession in terms of the number of points the offense is expected to score, the expected possession value, or EPV. The model is able to determine how the ball handler makes decisions based on where the players are positioned on the court. Every possible option a player has is given a point value in order to evaluate how each move added to the possession. It is also possible to look at the alternative moves the player could have made to determine if they made the best choice. This possession model, using optical tracking data, gives coaches the ability to estimate the probability that the player will make a particular choice in a particular situation, as well as the resulting EPV of the resulting possession. Players' options include single moves such as passing or shooting, as well as longer moves such as moving to the left or right. EPV is calculated continuously through the possession, increasing or decreasing as the expected value changes based on the actions of the player on the court and whether these actions are more or less likely to lead to points being put on the scoreboard. Analysts can evaluate a player's value in certain situations by replacing him or her with another player and observing how the EPV changes. Plays can be analyzed to determine if a player passing the ball creates a higher EPV than taking a shot. This allows analysis of whether the player is making good choices for the team or selfish choices to pad the point total. Coaches can look at the plays their team typically employ during a game to decide if those plays are generating a high enough EPV or if they should be modified. And that's expected possession value in three minutes. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you found it informative. If you'd like to learn about a groundbreaking approach for leveraging analytics to get players to execute team strategy, check out my Agile Sports Analytics framework, software, and mobile app. If you'd like to know how your team or sports organization can leverage analytics across the seven key maturity areas and 26 best practices, check out my sports analytics maturity model and take the free comprehensive sports analytics maturity assessment. To learn more about this and 150 different sports analytic methods, purchase my book, Sports Analytics from A to Z, available on Amazon.
And if you need help developing analytic models that create a competitive edge, contact me for a free consultation at www.agilesportsanalytics.com or call me at 888-861-8733.